Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the quick look and installation of Lineage OS 22.1 based on Android 15 on your OnePlus 6 and 60. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So guys, this is the Lineage OS 22.1 which is based on Android 15. So let's move into about phone, scrolling down Android version. As you can see, Android 15 and this is the Android 15 Easter egg. And going back, as you can see, it comes with the latest December 2024 security patch. This is the simple home screen with the trebuchet launcher. If you go into home settings, as you can see, we have this uh, basic lineage of settings, hide and protect apps. So you can also hide and protect apps. You can set a lock pattern or something. And this is the app drawer. Now it does not have the lineage of stock apps because I only had the, uh, I guess, basic uh, G apps file and I could not download core G apps due to some reasons. So yeah, that's why uh, most of the apps like the messaging app, the phone app are of Google. But yeah, if you flash the core G apps or if you are using micro G and you flash without G apps, you will get the lineage OS dialer with the call recording too. Lineage OS also offers a stock wallpapers. So going into wallpapers in style, in change wallpaper, in device wallpapers, you can see a lot of wallpapers like uh, uh, these are 12 wallpapers at present we get from lineage OS so that's really nice you can you know you don't have to def depend upon other apps to get the wallpapers you have a lot of good color scheme in the wallpapers dark colorful and whitish too so guys lineage OS is considered as the most basic and the most you know the first rom uh, whenever a new android version comes and we have to bring up a device with the new android version the Lineage OS is the most suitable and they are the first to bring it on. So let's move and see what features and customization you find. Now this is the settings UI as you can see with Android 15. Everything is categorized in a way. So you might see some shuffle up and down with your usual UI. If you compare with Android 14, as you can see, this is the you know display and all the customization. Whatever you can customize uh, uh, in the phone like wallpapers, the, uh, you have to change the display, it's here. Then the system info, like the storage, battery system, and about phone is here. And here, as you can see, your other stuff, security, privacy, and your functions to check uh, the screen time and all. As you can see, accessibility and Google services is also in here as a separate tab. We have to move into, let's go to display first, as you can see, uh, this is the display that inside the, the UIs, all the same, there's no changes that be done. We have live display by Lineage OS. As you can see, color profile, you can set your color profile. You have sRGB, DCI-P3, and white color support too. We have anti-flicker reading mode, and you can also adjust the picture. Then we have display mode. You can also, you know, change the display accordingly, whatever the situation you are right now in. Then color contrast, and you can uh, configure that too if you have any problems waving the display and we have full screen apps and right now it says no support and i don't know like you have to app uh, install those apps we have double tap to wake and that wakes up the device and we also have double tap to sleep oops sorry. oh sorry we have to use it from the status bar i forgot this is lineage so yeah nice it it works totally flawless then going back going into wallpapers in style and this is the same old uh, wallpapers in style which i showed you and nothing changed nothing has been changed here going into more lock screen options this is the lock screen options from the display and we also have always on display the basic one as you can see yeah this is oh sorry this is how you get the always on display let's go back let's move down this is the storage tab yeah, it's, it's just the same. There's nothing, no more changes have been available. We have charging control, battery light and battery information. Into system, we have some customization too. Like this, the button customization. We have power menu. We have advanced restart. So you can directly restart uh, into recovery mode. As you can see, system recovery bootloader. All modes are available for your easy install uh, installation of other ROMs. And home button wake, oh sorry, volume button wake, and all other playback features are available. Status bar, and you can customize the status bar. Yeah, but the status bar is so 
you know that is like there's no space on status bar to customize stuff move here and there so yeah whatever the stuff uh, whichever is less it's better and we have gestures we have navigation mode quick open camera just the basic lineage stuff and we also have the updater so you can easily check with new updates and update the uh, new update with the ot updater and that was it for the options and features available in the lineage os 22.1 for oneplus 6 and 60. so guys that was it for the lineage 22.1 for our oneplus 6 and the oneplus 60. now guys to conclude this rom is super stable if you use lineage os 21 uh, the experience will be similar but you have a greater version obviously the latest one and the latest security uh, patches installed on your phone so yeah that's a plus point the features and all remain the same but it's always safe and good to use the latest one so please make sure you try this and it's android 15 so you might get some new additional features which we don't even know which we might discover so yeah there's a lot of hidden stuff under the coat so make sure you install android 15 and enjoy lineage 22.1 on your oneplus 6 and 60. so that was it for this video I hope you guys liked the video this was a short review a quick look like type of that and now let's move towards the installation uh, if you guys don't want to watch the installation then press the like button because that was the end of the video for you guys and the dislike but button also if you don't like the video so that will be a feedback for me and for any other feedback written feedback you can put it down below in the comment section also if you want any links or any, anything related to this you can go find it in the description that everything is served right in the description for you guys so that's it now let's move directly into the installation for that you have to power off your device so guys in order to install lineage os 22.1 on your oneplus 6 or 60 you will need a pc or a laptop so first you have to boot your oneplus 6 into the bootloader mode now to do that you have to power off your device and volume press the volume up and the power button my volume up is sometimes not functional that's why i have a struggle going into the bootloader mode but yeah you can do that easily if you have a working power button now you have to just connect your device with pc and this as you can see i have been connected you just keep it aside now you have to open command prompt Just go to the folder okay so this is the platform tools folder if you want to install platform tools on your PC uh, you can just go down below in the description and find the link and easily install them and install the lineage or zip the boot image and the nick gps uh, gps are optional you can use nick gps or mind gps whatever you have your choice on if you have in installed it on your PC I mean download it on your PC so now the first uh, thing you have to do is confirm that the device is connected as you can see it says fast boot devices let me bring it to the front okay now it's good now you have to input the command fast boot flash boot boot dot image after this is done come back to your uh, as you can see just uh, use the volume up and volume down to scroll recovery mode press the power button and your device will reboot into the recovery mode the device is now rebooted into the lineage os recovery now the first thing you have to do is go back down factory reset and format data so data wipe is complete let's go back i have to go to apply update apply update from adb i hope you guys are able to see that because of the default brightness of this recovery you might not see the options in here now using side load adb side load the commands are totally and fully copied down below in the description you can just easily copy them adb side load and you have to just copy this zip And that's it it will start uh, flashing using adb side load it will take a bit of a time so let's skip this process 
Now guys, you might get this screen. So if you want to install G apps, you have to press on yes. And if not, then just simply click no. So I will tell you with G apps because after clicking no, you will just have to reboot the system. So you have to press on yes. Only for installing the G apps, you have to do this process or else it's not needed that necessarily. So now it will reboot back into the bootloader, uh, the recovery mode. And now you have to again apply update. Okay. Apply from ADB. And just keep the device again. Now as you can see in the command prompt, you might get this ADB failed to read command, no error. But there is no, uh, like don't need to worry, worry about that because this, uh, it will show like that, but the lineage OS will install successfully. ADB sideload. Nick G apps, copy this name, press dot zip and just input the command. Now this might show as signature verification failed. Just click yes, power button and it will install it. So guys, G apps have also been installed successfully. Now you just have to reboot system and that is it. Lineage OS 22.1 has been successfully installed. Now let me wait till the boot animation and then I will end the video. And guys, here it is. That's it for the video. If you guys really like the video, press the like button. If not, the dislike button is there. You can post your feedback down below in the comment section. And everything, all the files, all the help you need will be in the description. So please check that out. And that's it. If you like the video, subscribe too. Because that's what we need more. And bye-bye. See you guys soon with another one.